we have seen um, a good number of babies who got COVID, you know, um, newborns for the little kids who haven't been vaccinated. Omicron definitely is giving them um, many days of high fever. Dr. Yvonne Maldonado is the principal investigator in the Pfizer vaccine clinical trial at Stanford for young kids. It is uh, possible that we could have enough data for the FDA to review it um, sometime in February or March. So that is a reasonable um, estimate. She also explained why those children may need three doses, which she says is normal in other vaccines. The vaccine trials that have been done so far in the under five-year-old children have demonstrated strong safety, uh, but just not the degree of antibody responses, especially in two to four-year-olds. So it is hoped that a third dose in the under five-year-olds will provide a strong antibody response. In the last few years, we've seen a dramatic increase in the scale and the speed and sophistication with which this misinformation is spreading. So we wanted to call attention to that and let everyone know that there were steps all of us could and needed to take. And here's why this is so important, because there's a recent poll uh, that just came out uh, that showed that close to 80% of people uh, either believe or think some of the myths out there about COVID-19 are actually true. One of the things that, uh, you know, we advocate for in this toolkit is first, just taking a pause to understand what people's motivations are, what their concerns are, uh, what's important to them. If we don't take an empathetic approach, if we don't give people the benefit of the doubt before we judge or shame them, then we lose them. You know, we don't have the opportunity to, to support folks in reaching that shared goal. You know, I haven't heard of a single person's mind who's been sh changed by being shamed or blamed. Yeah, uh, so the shame. bottom line is those approaches don't work. Yeah. Because this is a landmark moment uh, for not just for parents like me, but kids five through 11, but for all of us who want to see this pandemic come to an end. With the recent FDA authorization, the CDC recommendation of the vaccine for kids five through 11, and this is the Pfizer vaccine, mind you. We now have 28 million uh, children, 28 million more people who have come under the umbrella, uh, potentially of being vaccinated. But here's what parents really need to know. Number one, the vaccine was rigorously tested uh, in clinical trials, and it was put through the same review process by the FDA and CDC that we put any other vaccine through. And what they found in that review process was that this vaccine was highly effective, more than 90% effective at protecting our kids from symptomatic COVID. The second thing they found is that the safety profile of the vaccine was actually really, really good. And when children did have side effects, they were a sore arm, fatigue, a headache, occasionally a fever, but those symptoms went away within a day or two. And what the children were left with was longer term protection. And very importantly, they did not see any serious adverse effects. Well, so I think the more people get vaccinated, the more we have a chance of getting cases that come down and stay down. And then that's really going to be our key to an off ramp with things like masks and other restrictions as well. Kids, in addition to getting uh, COVID-19, also can spread COVID-19. There was a, a notion out there before that kids don't transmit the virus. We absolutely found that is not the case. They do transmit the virus. They contribute to spread. And so, yes, getting 28 million more children vaccinated will absolutely help reduce the spread help get cases down, keep them down. And that's how when we can start to get rid of uh, some of the restrictions that we currently have right now. And finally, Mike, I think it's important that we recognize one thing that COVID has taught us, right, is that our health really does depend on what other people do, yeah. right? And what we've learned from other viruses and illnesses in the past is the more of us get vaccinated, the more of a wall we build around those who are vulnerable.